What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have got this lovely Walmart special watch. So this I got back in the day, probably about two years ago now, for $8.88. Um, and today, at today's prices with inflation, it's now $10.88. So it has gone up in price. So, you know, it's getting more valuable by the day, I guess. <laughs> but this is just one of Walmart's basic watches. It's one of their George brands. I believe that's what it's called. I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see what it looks like. It just comes in basically a cardboard um, packaging. Um, nothing special. And, you know, this is not going to blow you away by any means. It's just a plastic strap, plastic watch. Uh, but it's pretty durable and it's pretty accurate. Um, there was a time with Walmart watches that you could get watches that actually had um, not just a stopwatch, but also had a timer and a um, a world clock on it as well. And you could get those for about $10, but now everything's gone up in price. So anything that you want with a countdown timer or a world clock, it now costs a bit more. I think at least $20 for one of those kinds. So this, it really doesn't even have a name on it. You know, the packaging will say George on it, but then when you look at this, it basically just says stainless steel back. Um, takes one of the larger batteries like you get in a car key fob, um, and then it just says sports watch on the front. So it is durable. It is waterproof. I'm not really sure to what depth, but I've been in water with it plenty of times. Um, you do have a light button up here, which will actually illuminate blue at nighttime. Can't see it right now, but yep. Um, and then you've got the day up here. So obviously Friday, the date. So it's September the 1st and then the time. And you can also set it to military time as well. Um, and then you click this one button down here. And that's the stopwatch. This button allows it to start running. And then you press this button to stop it. Press that one to reset it. Or I think you can do lap. So if you run the stopwatch and then you press this button. Yeah. Oh, well, who knows? This is just a cheaper watch. Oh, it says water resistant 50 meters. So I could probably, I can't say I've gone 50 meters with it, but I've definitely showered with it, definitely been in the pool with it had it submerged and it's been fine. You do also have on here the alarm function, which you can set. And as you see, if you double press, if you press this button, you see that it's got alarm and chime. So the alarm is so the full alarm goes off and the chime is so that on the hour it will beep so, like I said, that's really all there is to it. It's quite a large watch. Let me show you. Oh, there we go. See? So the alarm is actually a decent um, decibel. So it should, you should uh, be able to tell what it is. Actually, let me do a quick measurement across. And then I'll put it on my wrist so you can see what it actually looks like. And this is obviously, guys, not a super accurate way to measure it, but it is what it is. So it's pretty big, to be honest with you. If you look from one end to the other, then it is about, what, 50 millimeters? Yep, so it's pretty chunky. And it's quite a fat watch as well. About 13 millimeters thick, which is quite a chunky watch. And let me show you what it looks like on the wrist. It is a comfortable strap. Uh, like I said, it's just a plastic strap. Probably really easy to replace. Super easy to adjust. But when it's really hot, it does kind of get sweaty. It's not, it doesn't feel that breathable. But that's what it looks like on the wrist. As you can see here. So, not a bad looking watch. Like I said, it's super chunky. So, 
if you are into like G-Shock watches, which there's a few Casio G-Shocks that this actually kind of looks like, you know, like a very cheapened, watered down version, but it's decent. This is the kind of watch that I would get, honestly, if my, um, you know, if I've got a son or a child and you want to kind of get them into watches, I would get them one of these because it's inexpensive. Um, it's accurate. It's got an alarm on it and it just gets them used to wearing a watch so that when you're ready to get them a more expensive watch, you can go ahead and do so. Anyway, guys, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel and I will keep bringing you more watches and I'm just giving you some of my cheap watches and then I'll give you some of my nicer ones as the videos continue. Boop. Peace.